We have a variety of debugging techniques at our disposal and I'll walk through several of these. Supposing there's something not quite right about the uh, behavior of this block diagram. Well, certainly a, a very easy thing to do is attach additional indicators as might be needed. This is perhaps analogous to inserting extra print statements inside a traditional text-based programming language. Next, you could try highlight execution. This is handy because you can literally watch the flow of data through your block diagram and also you can observe the specific values that are being generated by the various nodes along the way. So as you look around, you can uh, hopefully uh, visualize the behavior of your block diagram a little bit easier that way. And I'll turn that off. Another possibility, which I'll begin by enabling the retain wire values, and then you have the single stepping uh, features up here. So you can uh, do some different operations about either, um, in this case, you would perhaps want to to uh, first observe the values going into the loop before we actually get into the loop itself. So notice that we haven't actually calculated those values yet. Values that already exist are available on the, on the little probe as we wave our cursor around. Step over for loop would, as it suggests, you run the loop right away and then consult its outputs when it's done. So let's go ahead and finish executing the VI. Let's try single stepping again. And now when we get to the loop, I'll select step into the loop. So now we're internal and we can do single stepping inside. We can actually jump into other sub VIs. So we're in the one labeled Mac right now. We finish that, that uh, sub VI and we're back into our loop. So single stepping is a, a very useful technique. Sometimes, however, you might find, oh, we've actually got our Mac front panel open, so let me close that. Sometimes you might find that you don't want to do all of this stepping, but you'd just like to be able to stop at a certain point. So let me get some non-zero values there. And what I'll do as an example is I'll right click and select set breakpoint. We see the red dot showing up on the wire. And then when we run, the VI will execute until we get a change showing up on the output of that particular device. Now watch the loop iterator. We can probe around on some of our wire values here and actually place a permanent probe. If you just simply click down on that wire, that's probe number one, that's probe number two. So you can link up the labels there. Now, if we press the continue button, here what we're doing is it runs until the breakpoint again. So that was one more iteration, another iteration, and so on. So it runs until it hits that breakpoint again. We can close these probes and if you're done uh, with breakpoints, you can also clear the breakpoint as well. And that's a powerful debugging technique.